wind-ups, and that's what makes the game so special. Fastball with some run is in for Witt was one for four with a double and an RBI last night. Abreu runs to the tarp and oh, he man. got it. The Hugh was a great flavored guy myself. Outside to Carlos Santana. He was over feasted on pitchers who throw 95 plus. Down and in, two balls and no strikes. So oh, to shorten your swing, you don't overswing. Guy throws that hard, you put a, an, e an easy swing on about 70. Good numbers right there, we're having. That was off speed, speed and pulled foul. He will allow his share of walks. Santana goes the other way. That's going to be a long run for Jimenez, and he will run it down. So the air, and he's getting, he's had 40 starts behind the plate. So he's been their guy since Grand has been hurt. 23 home runs for Salvi before August. 2 0. So to his Tommy John surgery. Anderson fields and throws, and that's all for the Royals in the bottom of the first. He tries to do, but all those years, guys, at Fenway Park, that is what helped him go opposite field. He said he didn't come to Kauffman Stadium with a thought of home runs, but that got him locked in, and we're seeing that now. This guy really knows how to go to the left. And I'll say. And he is he has a much better feel for the strike zone. He is hitting his home runs, which is but he's also taking his walks. And he'll take one right there on four straight pitches. And he's on if he had the power like this. Right side and through. And Soler will make the turn. The throw comes in late. And offline, and the Royals have run. Outside to Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan did not play in last. He lays off the changeup. Two balls and no strikes. It was a high strike with a breaking ball, and Ryan had one of the four three run home runs in the Tiger series. See out over the middle. Two and two. And see if first and third, like Keller did in the top of the second. And O'Hearn takes that one in the dirt, three and two. Great job. No chase. No chase. Popped up. And that'll be he fights that one off. 97 in on swung that it must have been a strike. <laughs> Ryan lines it foul off the tarp. Got a nice at bat going here. And a fastball got him in 97. That is still in their rotation. Did Dozier go? First base umpire Roberto Ortiz says he didn't. Mm, the slider spun, but got the upper. Just get that run home here any way you can. And there's a fly ball to center field that will carry. Goodwin is back to make the play. Both runners will tag. Both runners will advance. Taylor lines it into the netting. Michael was one for three last night. Collins. <laughs> I don't know if he blocked the ball or the ball. Taylor missed the slider away. One ball, two strikes, and now he'll dig. 
swinging about 75, 80 percent. And there's a line drive to the gap, but slicing and Vaughn oh, dropped it. Dropped it. Two nothing. We'll also keep an eye on Taylor. This is a co good combo to run on. Taylor runs and no throw from Collins. So base deal. And the Royals 62nd as a team to lead the league and there's a base hit to left. Jimenez was shallow but Vance Wilson is going to send him anyway and Taylor is going to be out. They are currently funding the first behavioral health navigator for those who receive behavioral health services at the University of Kansas Health. T-shirts on, and Kelly is sitting in the Buck O'Neill legacy seat at tonight's game. All right. Witt chops it out to short, and Anderson is in time. Kansas City to bring awareness and Many who are fighting the cause are here at the in our community. Live tonight, and I got a chance to do some long format interviews with him, psychologist from the University of Kansas. He was great on yeah. the program, really good. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. I stopped eating. Santana, he was out on a good defensive play and left by. Jimenez, who has run down a fly ball and thrown out a runner at the plate. Oh. And you never know what's going to happen, but yeah. Witt grounded out to short in his at bat. That may or may not have happened. To end. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Ooh. Strikeout number. To pile up some strikeouts. for 38 home runs this year. One ball, one strike. He is at 23 right now. And in both and 80 RBIs both years and he's got a chance to fly right by those two. One ball, two strikes. He can do which is amazing. Some of the sh shots he's hit to right field this year as homers takes a tremendous lower half to, for the balance and the power. Cease strikes him out with a slider. The Royals go down in order with. Upstairs for ball one. Run games. That was a home run swing. One ball, one strike. One and two and I think every kind of hang in that front leg in the air for a while to get his timing down. Two balls two strikes he has tried many things. Sure has. That timing when you have long left lower half and upper half and then. Your, your mental side of it. Ooh. A jelly legger. Same trade that brought Eloy Jimenez to the south side. With lefty Jose Quintana going to the north side in the second inning, and then he scored on the air by Vaughn and Wright. That's well hit, right center field, and Goodwin will have to play it off the wall. And Intendi checks in at second base with a one out double. Up and away ball one on Ryan O'Hearn. That was 98 with a fastball. Ryan had a chance to struck out Ryan with a fastball, and now he has a chance to drive in a run in the fourth. And he'll pull it to the right side and through. Ben Intendi will come around from third and score. And the Royals. Hunter Dozier with one on, one out. Hunter hit a sack fly to center in the overall, and in particular against the White Sox. One ball, one strike. Hunter is 0 for 18 with nine strikeouts and. Off the end of the bat, Goodwin's first step was back and now he has to sprint in and it's going to drop. 
No good one who's on it. Long dropped. So let's see if we can find a hole. It's in scoring position and the most clutch runners in scoring position and two down. So he read to reach back and let it fly at 96 and it three and one. And Taylor hits it to the gap in left center field and Jimenez. Nobody has motion and now finally third base umpire Kerwin Danley. Upstairs to Nicky Lopez. He singled to left field his first time in July. And it's a little bit outside two balls and no strikes. There's a strike two and one. Routine play for Jimenez. The ball will carry on him. And he's got it. So the Royals get one. Jimenez saves a run with an excellent play. Third at bat. All leading off an inning. And there's a base hit. So he's on his way to quenching your thirst. And he's digging for second against Goodwin. And Witt is out. The bag before he felt the tag. But that's just part of the equation. Build. Two and one on Santana. On Santana, he has reached around with his left and then keep his foot on the base. Base. Now maybe I'm just seeing this through my turn. That's not good enough. Three and two on Santana. Stay with it. Got him just swinging it twice, twice. And here's Garcia with a throw from shallow right, two down. The MLB Ballpark app will complete your next visit to the K fans. Bye. Fastball in for a strike. Cease is not known for his first pitch. Does. Rounded to third off of Moncada's glove, but he has time. He didn't panic and he gets Salvi. And so for the third time, I don't know why I laughed. It, I well, mean, Grateful Dead fans have always been known as deadheads, but that's right. Jorge Soler leads off our Sonic Slam inning. One ball, one strike. Our contestant is Melinda Sirios. Sorry, Melinda. But she lives in beautiful Lisa Park in this inning. Melinda wins $100. If the Royals hit a grand slam out of the park, Melinda wins $25,000 from Sonic and the Royals. And you can become a contestant. Rare game where you're into the sixth inning and you've only had two leadoff hitters. Abreu will take it to the bag himself. Scorekeeper to pick that up, partner. Way to go. I'd have never thought of that. Way to go. Shea in the White Sox bullpen. No, but you are an excellent play by score play card, broadcaster. Score stuff. I mean, you know, you're, you're excellent, buddy. Way to go. Your preparation is un unmatched. Hit a winner in the Sonic Slam inning with one of his opposite field home runs. This time, Dylan Seal and Cease gets him, and it's the first time. This is the one they like to hit for homers at 95 plus. Her ball is in for a strike, but given another chance in the fourth, he drove in a run. No balls, two strikes. O'Hearn drove in Benintendi from second base. And down goes O'Hearn on three.